Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick, and today I'm reacting to The Big Bang Theory Season 3, Episodes 13 and 14. What can I say? I am loving this third season so far. We've had so many interesting developments between different characters and relationships and potential relationships. I'm just looking forward to seeing what is in store for me with these two episodes. As always, if you want to watch along the full unedited reaction that is up on Patreon, that's the best way to support the channel. Thank you so much to everyone who does. That's also where you can watch future episodes of the show if you don't want to wait. Let's just get right into it. The Big Bang Theory Season 3, Episodes 13 and 14. Seems like forever since the four of us have been out to eat, you know? Just the guys. Just the guys tonight. We get it, you have a girlfriend now. <laughs> he's proud, he's proud. Jealous? Yes. All right, I'd kill a hobo if it would get me laid. Now can we all... <laughs> Dear Lord, they redid the menu. Oh no, change, more change in Sheldon's life. Look at this, General So's chicken. So? Yes, General So. So the question, so, why is it no longer a specialty? <laughs> Shrimp in mobster sauce. What is mobster sauce? They misspelled it? Obviously a typo. Perhaps this restaurant's now a front for organized crime. <laughs> Hopefully, actually. Mobster sauce contains actual chunks of deceased mobsters. <laughs> now that would be dark. I think it just means it's the kind of sauce that mobsters like. Let's just get a pizza. Good idea, we'll go to Corleone's. Dang, really? Really? They can't enjoy this? The mobster sauce couldn't possibly contain chunks of mobster. Why not? Why is that? Hard to get Who's fresh mobster. Seafood? What if they were mobsters who slept with the fishes? Yes, yes. <laughs> Let her so proud of that one. Are we having a serious conversation or not? Can it be both? What then? What? Do they get broken into? Really? The TV is gone. So are our laptops. Dang, that sucks. Oh god! They didn't take my comic books. <laughs> Dang, that sucks though, right? It's gotta suck. Let me know in the comments, anyone who's actually had their place broken into. I've heard that is, I mean, this is the most obvious thing, but I heard beyond just the things you get stolen, it's kind of like, feels like a very violating experience. They need better security in this building, dang. I guess a building that hasn't ever fixed the elevator would be like this. Our PS2, our PS3, classic Nintendo, our Super Nintendo, our Nintendo 64. That's so much. We like games. <laughs> Right, games. They took Halo 1, Halo 2, <laughs> 2, Call of Duty 3, Rock Band, Rock Band 2. All the games. They took all the games. Super Mario Galaxy, Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympics, and Ms. Pac-Man. Assorted video games. When does the CSI team get here? <laughs> They're not coming. One of the thieves had the audacity to quench his thirst while ransacking our home. That's not theirs? Here are my prints so you can rule me out as a suspect. That's actually helpful in a little bit, right? I'm sorry, Leonard. It's too early to discount the possibility of this being an inside job. True. I'd be completely out of line to ask you to shoot him. <laughs> i happy to put him under a 72-hour psychiatric hold. <laughs> Don't do that, please. My mother had me tested. I like how I keep saying that. How is that going to help them? Could monitor scientific publications. <laughs> no one was stealing your findings for that purpose. They're most likely in possession of my stolen laptop. Good night, fellas. We'll be in touch. Did they ruin his spot? It'll never be the same. Watch TV on our phones until the criminals return and bludgeon us to death in our sleep. <laughs> Imagine if they come back. Me out as a suspect? Oh, how I wish I could. It's like an Agatha Christie novel. Everyone's a suspect. And then... I kind of get this, right? That'll stop them. I do not have to urinate. <laughs> That is denial. That is denial. The master of my own bladder. <laughs> It'll, you'll never win. If I hadn't been working the dinner shift, I would have run right into the robber. There's no reason for you to be scared. I would have gone all Nebraska on their asses. Oh, dang. Now that would have been a great scene. We just had a major crime in the building, and you open the door without asking who it is? Trust me, we know. And what's up? Nothing. Just wanted to see if you were both okay. Oh, he's so worried. All right, then. Good night. Dang, Sheldon, he's like traumatized by this. That was weird. No, no, no. Leonard and Penny. He's like a kid who's scared, right? 
Who is it? <laughs> okay, that's fair. Michelle that's Sheldon fair. Cooper. Yes. Use the secret knock next time. I see you're drinking wine. Good observation. You want to sleep here tonight? Small as Leonard is, I don't think the two of you be comfortable on the couch. <laughs> Human beings or primates have evolved to live in groups, both for protection and support. He doesn't feel safe. You don't like other people. Now he needs help. It's scary over there. It's getting scary here, too. No, oh, come on. Nothing scary about Sheldon. Three little kittens? You're playing Pictionary? Three little pigs? <laughs> what is it? God, I don't know. Star Wars? <laughs> I like that that's her guess, but she doesn't know. Good lord, I could not have made this easier. It's what a is hydrogen it? atom. Oh my gosh. Oh no, no. Bo, General Zod trapped in the Phantom Zone. Oh my god. I'm glad I didn't try because I was nowhere near. Pear, tickle, pear tickle. Okay, I like that one. We've really got to go to sleep. I'll take the first watch and wake you at 0400. Oh dang. What's 0400? 4 a.m. It's like 45 minutes. Oh, dang. Maybe set up cameras or something. Maybe that'll make him feel safe. It's quiet out there. Maybe a little too quiet. What is this? Is this a real Gotta movie? Take a look around outside. Bad idea. <laughs> Don't worry, no one out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. They don't even get 45 minutes of sleep. Titanium deadbolt controlled by a state-of-the-art electronic access system. Way to go. There's a 200 watt uninterruptible backup power supply. Nice. What if somebody kidnaps me, forces me to record my voice, and then cuts off my thumb? Hadn't thought of that. Inside, we've got motion detectors, infrared sensors. Okay, look sensors, at this, look at this. Howard coming through. Server running state-of-the-art facial recognition software. I like this, this is advanced. Buddy over at the Department of Defense. He just gave it to you? What have if I'd ask? <laughs> oh, dang, you just took it? Luckily, their security isn't all that good. That is ironic. Gosh, your car is blocking me. <laughs> 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 Picture her on the floor, spasming uncontrollably. As long as it doesn't glitch and actually do that Better. to Penny. <laughs> Security system in place. However, sleep continues to elude me. Oh. I've seen the underbelly of Pasadena, this so-called city of roses. <laughs> While out there, evil lurks. Donkey Kong on my classic Nintendo. Trust me, they're not. Who's it gonna be? <laughs> what was that sound? Grab a weapon, Sheldon. Be armed. <laughs> really? Oh! I am the master of my own bladder. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, fall. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. This is gonna be a nightmare. This is a nightmare. <laughs> Can you imagine? They're gonna need a new security system for their window after this. I heard a noise. It was us. We knocked over a lamp. Oh. Why would you knock over a lamp? It was an accident. I didn't need to know what we were doing, Leonard. No, she's right. I don't need to know what you were doing. <laughs> no, no. You carry on. You're gonna go back out Use that way? Door. Good thinking. Look how rattled he is. I'm lactose intolerant. You don't wish to alarm me with any more loud noises. Very thoughtful. More milk, Penny? No, thanks. Good night to you, sir. It, miss. Get a dog. Sorry about that. Uh, what can you do? He's gonna come back. <laughs> oh, dang. Did he activate it on accident himself? <laughs> oh, shoot. This is a flawed system. <laughs> Looks like Wallowitz got the net electrified. That must be so painful. I'm fine. I'm no longer the master of my own bladder. Windows 7 is much more user-friendly than Windows Vista. I don't like that. <laughs> the only person angry about something being user-friendly. Don't you need to stay in one place so the mothership can find you when it returns? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if that were only true. You never know. Find a location that's more hospitable than the mean streets of Pasadena. The mean streets of Pasadena. Kind of true. Is he quitting his job at the university? Oh, no, he's going to telecommute. Oh. Everybody's really excited about it. <laughs> Daniel Boone. Oh. Sounds like something that would attract the wrong crowd. <laughs> Penny, 
you're from Nebraska, correct? Born and raised. <laughs> That's hilarious. Email you detailed PDF that will guide you through packing and shipping. You're not really gonna leave, Sheldon. Bozeman does have a comedy club called the Looney Bin, so do not forward my mail there. Customer who walked into that butcher shop and asked for a pound of liver got ripped off. <laughs> Those people moved on, and so should you. I am moving on. Literally. They call themselves Bozites? They should. It's one of the first things I plan to bring up upon arrival. You will fit right in. Long goodbyes and maudlin displays of emotion. I've prepared a short video. Oh, nice. Nice. Sheldon thinks of everything. Four of you are three of my closest friends and one treasured acquaintance. <laughs> Who's the treasured acquaintance, Petty? Rosh? <laughs> my life will be diminished by not having you in it. Comfortable if you choose to believe that. <laughs> Statistics suggest you will succumb to tragic and gruesome ends before we meet again. Oh, come on. Sheldon, that's so- He's gone. He's gone. I do it. I do it. Oh. Well, I want to lock the door behind me. Oh, okay. Well, how the hell do I know who's the friend and who's the acquaintance? It's either Raj or Petty, right? Racing cold. <laughs> Lord, is it cold? <laughs> You're gonna miss that California weather. Lovely Town's Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right away? Oh, that sucks. Excuse me! He spotted Sheldon as such an easy mark. Go back home. One ticket to Pasadena, California. <laughs> yeah, there's crime everywhere. Hey, look who's back! Interesting. The acquaintance is the first to greet me. Really? Now that's a twist. I did not think that. Wow, okay, that's a surprise. <laughs> what is he doing? Morning exercises. I mean, definitely not. Fleeting peripheral image so as to engage the superior colliculus of my brain. What? I usually just have coffee. You've been up all night? Is it morning? <laughs> Sleep deprived Sheldon. Give him some caffeine. Try to engage their superior colliculus. Sorry, sweetie. I can't help you till I've had my coffee. I'm kind of the same, honestly. If you don't put him in his crate at night, he just runs around the apartment. <laughs> Looking for the alligator that swallowed his hand after Peter Pan cut it off. Captain Hook's hand was eaten by a crocodile, not an alligator. Important distinction. Mock me, at least get your facts straight. I still like to see a Peter Pan movie. It just won't coalesce. Maybe you need a fresh start. You're right. What is he gonna do? Don't throw that out! What? Holy, holy Sheldon. Sheldon, you need sleep. You need sleep, dang. Oh, gosh. Sheldon, I'm trying to think. Is He's almost like a child version of Sherlock Holmes. Because he's way more childish. Sherlock Holmes is immature, I feel like. But Sheldon is really just a big little baby, kind of. How long has he been stuck? 30 hours. Emotionally, about 29 years. Angle of a hexagon is 120 degrees. Have you tried rebooting him? <laughs> First thing I thought of. Disco night at the Moonlight Roller Rink in Glendale tonight. Who's up for getting down? Penny likes to skate. The four of us could double. Sound like I brought it up because I wanted to go. Poor Raj. We need to get Raj a girlfriend. You and your ladies to suitable entertainment choices. I'm a walking brown yelp.com. Boy, he's really gone, isn't he? This morning he used a stick of butter as deodorant. Did you stop him? I thought I smelled popcorn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, just imagining that mixed with sweat. No. I haven't seen him this stuck since he tried to figure out the third Matrix movie. <laughs> Those are my lima beans. Here, you want my peas? The peas, perfect. They can be electrons. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Why not? What would I do with corn? <laughs> we all grab a bite to eat first? P.F. Chang's? My mom has coupons. I like P.F. Chang's. Haven't been in ages. Your mom's not coming, right? Not this time, I promise. <laughs> I wish his mom came. You turn it into a double date, and I hope you both fall on your asses and break your coccyxes. I do feel bad for Raj. It was his idea. Oh my god, have you ever been so embarrassed? Not recently. What happened? They're roller skating or they're disco dancing. Oh. The worst part was when people saw us leave with them. <laughs> You had some nice moves out there. Oh, dang. Well, they enjoyed themselves. Did you notice all the people looking at us? <laughs> My boogie zone. <laughs> they should have showed us. They should have showed us. Come on. Hey, show them. Oh, shoot. Good lord, you're ruining. 
That's a good security system, actually. Don't bark at me, I fell too. No, you've been falling all night, you're used to it. <laughs> Figure out why Electron. With Marvel? I needed something bigger than peas, now didn't I? When was the last time you got any sleep? Yeah, he needs I don't know, sleep. two to three days, not important. Very important. I need to determine where in this swamp of unbalanced form. <laughs> Toad of truth. Toad of truth? Is that a physics thing? No, 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 Crazy no. thing. <laughs> He needs sleep. Call his mom. Don't get enough REM sleep. Lose their sensitivity to serotonin and norepinephrine. This is the way to communicate to him. Brush your teeth and go to bed. But I don't want to go to bed. <laughs> I'm going to count to three. One. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. Ten points to Bernadette. Just another reason she's a that keeper. That was amazing how you handled him. Yes. My mother used to run an illegal daycare center in our basement. <laughs> like her even more. What the hell? Leonard, you're, you're giggling in your sleep. That is not Leonard. My new ringtone. The Joker from Batman. Oh, that's your ringtone? Which Joker laugh is that? Yeah, I'm Leonard Hofstetter. Yeah, he's my roommate. What happened? What happened to Sheldon? Is he okay? What happened? Sheldon's escaped and is terrorizing the village. Dang, I thought he got some sleep. Okay, have fun. <laughs> I'm Dr. Hofstetter. Where is he? Ball pit. Oh my gosh, no, he won't give it up. Thanks for not calling the cops. Oh, hey, it's no big deal. My sister's got a kid who's special. <laughs> hey, Shelly, how did you get into this place? Call Bernadette, she'll help. Five pin tumbler system, single circuit alarm, child's play. I'm gonna have to drag you out. You'll never catch me. <laughs> please try, please try, yes. <laughs> Security guard is gonna have the best shift of his life. So entertaining. Come here! Bazinga. <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> Maybe Sheldon will be tired after all this plague and fall asleep. Bazinga. <laughs> How long did that go on? I didn't many. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good scream, Petty. Who is it? Your cell phone was off. Because we didn't want to be disturbed. And that didn't work out, did it? <laughs> no. I came to tell you, I've got the answer. To what? Life's meaning? You figured out the graphene problem? Oh, that? I'm still hopelessly stuck on that. I figured out how to figure it out. Uh, okay. You can handle your roommate, but I was wrong. We're gonna have to break up. <laughs> Einstein. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little more. Albert Einstein. <laughs> Oh, that one. Now I get it. Talking to you is sufficiently menial that I can feel the proverbial <laughs> juices starting to flow. Leonard doesn't snore. No, I wasn't talking to Leonard. <laughs> Better you snore. You. <laughs> You're looking for a job. A menial job. You gotta insult like the yours. position. <laughs> Why, thank you for noticing. You're hired. I'm menial employee of the month. <laughs> Do you have a particular field in mind? The dust through which they trudge. <laughs> Do you have anything like that? <laughs> no. Shouldn't you check your database? No. <laughs> you didn't really type. I didn't really have to. I like her. How about construction? Precariously on a girder high above the metropolis. That's a romanticized version. Deliveries for a florist. That seems acceptable. Do you have your own car? I don't drive. <laughs> so unacceptable. Of course you don't. <laughs> what was your last job? Senior theoretical particle physicist. Just give me a second. What is she going to do? Security! What? What? Does she not believe him? Why is she calling security? <laughs> Drink started for you. Oh, no way. You. No way. They're working together. That's fantastic. What are you doing here? Toll booth attendant, an Apple store genius. <laughs> I don't like touching other people's coin. Contribute to the devaluation of the word genius. I didn't need to be hired. I simply came in, picked up a tray, and started working for the- Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Burn that table 10 wants their check. Thanks, Sheldon. I would appreciate this as a waiter. Great busing from Sheldon. Hello, I'm Sheldon. I'll be your server today. <laughs> I want to see this. Salmon. I saw it in the kitchen. <laughs> I would like a waiter who's that honest. Come on. Bacon cheeseburger. Kudos. I also brought you salsa. It's a little unconventional, but I think you'll like it. It's zingy. 
Shot is a great waiter. No sour cream, no ugly consequences from your lactose intolerance. <laughs> bon appetit. 10 out Hang of 10. On. What? Black beans, not pinto beans? Yes. Double guacamole? You understand why I'm doing this to you? I do. That'll be all. <laughs> okay, Leonard has been waiting for that moment. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that too. He never went back to the university? Mm, only to shampoo Professor Shamberg's shih tzu. Is this true? We could buy Sheldon the van. But he's afraid of dogs. That's the only thing wrong with that plan. Sorry you had to wait, but we are swamped. <laughs> What's this? No worries. Sheldon doesn't work here. But he deserves the tip. Uh, honey, not to complain, but we were starting to think you didn't either. <laughs> Is that really necessary? <laughs> Good Dang. lord. What? The interference pattern in the fracture. They move through the graphene as a wave. Okay. It's a wave! <laughs> the moment to applaud would be now. <laughs> I agree. Troglodytes. <laughs> Where are you going? Aren't you going to clean this up? Well, I'm sorry, I don't work here. That's fair. That's fair. I'm so glad he actually had a breakthrough. I didn't think he would be successful. Okay, we're going to see. We're going to see. <laughs> Come on, they're putting on a show. Are you Are telling me people wouldn't be entertained by this? The true couple. That's a good ending right there. Come, come here! Bazinga. How did he eventually Bazinga. get How did he eventually get him? Bazinga! Also, how did they not laugh filming this scene? All right, so that's The Big Bang Theory, season three, episodes 13 and 14. So episode 13, we had a break-in into Leonard and Sheldon's apartment. And like I said, I don't have any personal experience. I've been fortunate in that sense. But, you know, not only is, does it suck that, you, you know, someone breaks into your place, you lose a bunch of stuff, you lose money. It's just an inconvenience. But I also feel like, you know, it is a violation. And I think it's kind, it's natural for people to feel less safe where they live after people break in and rob them. And so it was sad to see Sheldon, you know, feel like responding in such a childlike way, being really, really scared of the whole situation. You know, you could really tell when he's willing to go over to Penny's place to hang out with Leonard and Penny, when we know that Sheldon loves being alone, that he's frightened, you know, he's like a child at that point. And I did think it was cool how, you know, Howard was willing to help out. I mean, his security system ended up backfiring and wasn't that successful, <laughs> except for, you know, poor Sheldon was on the receiving end of the electric net, which must be incredibly painful, right? But it was cool that everyone was kind of pitching in to help up the security of the apartment to help Sheldon feel safe. But of course, as we saw in the episode, like that fear is largely psychological psychological, I feel like maybe increasing the security of the apartment would help to a degree, but there's also just some residual fear that it's not going to be so simple to overcome with like a logical solution to that problem. And of course, you know, Sheldon is willing to leave. <laughs> you know, I like when he's trying to decide where he's going to go. And then he asked Penny, like, you're from Nebraska, right? And then immediately just crosses off the whole state. Like, I don't want to be around anyone like Penny or have any of Penny's lack of intelligence rub off on me. But of course, you know, he leaves and he very quickly learns the lesson that no place is going to be completely safe. And that is, of course, the reality of life. You can move to the best city, the best area, the best neighborhood, have the highest security, but there's always crime wherever you live. Now, to be fair, the degrees of safety that you can put yourself in, depending on the area that you live and the particular apartment building, obviously varies in a significant way for sure. But it was just an important lesson to Sheldon where you're never going to live in a totally safe world like it whether it's from you know people robbing you or crimes or health conditions like you can't go through life completely fearful there's just inherent danger in almost everything we do to a certain degree you just have to learn to get comfortable with it and take reasonable measures to increase your safety but i guess i am at least relieved that sheldon was able to learn that lesson sooner rather than later you know he learned right away that he needed to move back home instead of spending some time in a new place and then you know a few months later a few weeks later then having to move back home and then episode 14 you know once again we kind of really had a focus on 
Sheldon or what he was dealing with. And this time we saw him, you know, kind of experiencing a mental block. And you could just see the strain and the pressure that was put on him, you know, being stuck. But one of my favorite moments of that episode was when we saw Bernadette interact with Sheldon. And I, the scene was short, but it makes me want to see more of Bernadette one-on-one -on -one with Sheldon or just interact in general with Sheldon because I thought she handled it like an absolute pro. For someone who's kind of new to the friend group, the fact that she was immediately kind of able to identify not only that Sheldon needed some like parenting, but the type of parenting that Sheldon needed. Like she appealed to his intelligence and explained a logical reason why he needed to go get some sleep and it worked. At least temporarily, of course, then Sheldon went into the ball pit. That was a hilarious sequence with Leonard unsuccessfully trying to persuade Sheldon from leaving and then Sheldon, you know, more childlike than ever, you know, swimming around in the ball pit, escaping Leonard. I can imagine that scene must have been hilarious to shoot and I feel like that's part of the reason they included some extra footage at the very end of the episode. They were like, we just can't cut all of this out, even though that probably makes the scene a little bit too long. And then my favorite aspect of that whole episode is how after after a funny uh, but unsuccessful job interview, we get to see Sheldon working at the Cheesecake Factory. And that's such a good idea. I almost wish we had an entire episode focused on Sheldon being a busboy or a waiter, because like I said, you know, Sheldon, he did a good job. Right? Am I crazy in thinking that? If I had a waiter who was that prompt and that precise and that on top of things, that waiter would get a huge tip. I also think Sheldon would be the type of waiter who, like, isn't too talkative, is honest, you know, telling me about, like, the food that you don't want to get at a restaurant. That's always a really good sign with a waiter who's just honest, being like, no, you want to try the burgers at this place. This is not the place you want to get seafood. You know, whenever you meet waiters like that, and I've met, I've worked with waiters like that and also met them at restaurants in my experience, but it's always something that I really appreciate that type of honesty and of course a waiter who's really precise with all the specifications of the order is you know everyone likes that I don't think Sheldon would ever forget the side of ranch dressing and then we also had a cool little moment with that storyline of Leonard getting to double check the order you know making sure that Sheldon got everything correct and that's probably the only circumstance where he'd be able to do that so I just appreciate that Leonard took advantage of that moment and then we had the great breakthrough right where Sheldon actually was able to figure out something I didn't think his tactic would work I honestly thought there's going to be some other type of lesson, but I love how working the more menial job where he could turn his brain off and focus on other things actually helped him have a breakthrough. And I actually was not aware of this, so I'm sure that it's true based on the research of this episode, but let me know if you know more about that. Like, if you're stuck with an intellectual problem. I mean, I do know that it's effective to take a break and just do other things to take your mind off of it, and then sometimes you reach the solution. But specifically, like, working, doing a job that doesn't require like like higher brain function, is that a good activity to engage in? You know, for example, is that better than taking a break and watching something or exercising? Is it better to be working specifically if you're trying to help with like an intellectual breakthrough? I just love to know more about the science behind that because I find ideas like that interesting. But then I love, of course, that once Sheldon got the solution, like the audience does not appreciate it. That's not your target audience. They're not going to clap for that, Sheldon, but uh, I'm happy for your breakthrough. And then it was great when Penny's like, you have to clean that up. And Sheldon's just like, come on. I don't work here. I'm not getting paid. I'm gone. I was working this job for me, literally just for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed those reactions. As always, the full unedited reactions are up on Patreon along with future episodes of The Big Bang Theory if you don't want to wait and you'd care to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.